Hello everyone, and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ksenia, and today I am showing you the process for my first Draw This In Your Style challenge, which I am doing for getting 600 followers on Instagram. Okay, so, um, earlier this week I had my followers vote on some of the characteristics of this Draw This In Your Style challenge on my story, uh, which I'll be putting the results of up as I talk about them. So, I actually had some trouble sketching out the pose for this, um, character. I actually filmed the process for three separate poses, but none of them really were working. Um, I thought that it might have been because of the angle I was drawing it while filming, which I'm not used to. Uh, so I tried sketching it out without filming, and that worked. But it also means I didn't actually get the sketching portion of this. So, I'm sorry. Um, so what I'm doing now is I'm going over my pencil lines with a Faber-Castell polychromos pencil in Elizabeth Crimson. I did this because I figured it wouldn't smudge as much as the graphite, because it's oil-based, so the marker wouldn't smudge it. Um, I saw one of my favorite artists doing this, uh, Jacqueline de Leon, so I figured I would try it for this drawing. Uh, I don't do this too much, but I really like this technique a lot more than pen line art, which is what I usually use. It just has a much softer look to it, and like less of a harsh line thing, which is what I like doing. Uh, next time I think I will I will I think I will continue to use this, but next time I just will not use only one color and I'll fit the color palette better. The process for coming up with this idea was based on the polls I had on my story. It uh, they decided whether the character was male or female, if the theme was more basic or fantasy inspired, uh, whether the character had wings or horns, what kind of wings they had, uh, whether they had a dark or light aesthetic, and finally like, whether they had colorful and natural hair. Uh, I think I might make a character inspired on the answers that didn't win, just for fun, because they sound interesting. And I also don't draw men too often, so not that I- I don't draw them for any particular reason, I just have a lot more practice drawing girls, so I need to expand my horizons a bit so I can draw everybody. Uh, like, when I have time. <laughs> I look forward to designing him, uh, maybe as a companion character for this one. Uh, I don't know, they can be friends, we'll see. Also, I don't have a- I don't actually have a name for this one character yet, so I think so if you think of one, feel free to leave it in the comments below. I went for a half cottagecore, half fairy aesthetic for this one. Uh, you know, for the light aesthetic. Because uh, I really like mixing aesthetics, and they, they both of these seem to fit really well with my prompts and this character. I want to try to make more mixed aesthetic characters like this in the future. Uh, just because that seems really fun to, f fun to me. So I already have a lot of ideas for things to draw, so I don't know when I'll get to that. Uh, university is also swamping me right now, so I don't have a lot of time to make art for myself. I am looking at filming the processes for some of my university work right now. It's usually a lot more conceptual, I guess, or has more meaning behind it than just I want to draw pretty people because it makes me happy. Uh, I posted a work in progress sketch of one of um, my uni assignments on my Instagram, and that seemed to, do pr to get a pretty good response, so I'll see if I can post more. Uh, my next project, I guess my final, uh, was called Larger Than Life, so I am painting on three massive wood panels that I've already sanded and gessoed. Um, I don't have a specific idea for what I'm painting on them yet, but basically it would be concept art for a story that I've, has been swirling around my head for six years now. I think six years. But it seems very big in my head and very expansive. Uh, whenever I try to talk it out to people, I feel like I go on forever, which I won't do now, but if you guys want to hear more about it, let me know. I'll talk about it more when I post the video for that assignment. Ah, so I've started coloring. Um, for this piece I used my Copic markers. Uh, I almost always start with um, the skin, specifically the face. I first blocked out the shadows and then I blended them out with a lighter color. Usually I do a lighter color and then a darker color, but I was trying out something new with this piece. I think the shadows and lights technique actually worked pretty well. Um, I moved on to blush, and I like to put- you guys have already seen- but I, I like to put blush everywhere. So I put, it, I put it on her cheeks, her nose, her ears, her fingers, and the tops of her legs. Um, and then I did the wings and hair. I had some trouble separating the wings uh, from the hair at first, because they're both relatively similar pinks, as you can see. But I fixed that later, and um, I did that by layering some blue over the wings. So they had kind of a more multicolored um, look to them, instead of just pink. Uh, so I also... Um, used that blue for the trim on her skirt and her shirt, uh, which I I made that, bl that blue so that it would stand out against the more pink stuff in the drawing, because there is a lot of that. 
and I needed something to separate them. Um, I discovered after I finished coloring that I made some proportion mistakes. Hopefully you can't tell. Uh, but I, I did, so I'm going to have to look out for those in the future. I'm noticing that my camera keeps skipping parts of my process, which, like, um, I thought at first was because I didn't have enough memory on my SD card. But I switched the SD card from an 8GB to a 32GB, and it still is doing this. So um, I'm going to have to look into it and learn more about like, my camera so I can figure it out if I can get it to stop. So here I'm adding the flower stems, and then I'm adding the shadows onto the ruffles of the skirt. In hindsight, I think I made these a little bit too dark, but I can't fix that now, so I'll just know to make them lighter in the future. So for the wings, I like I separated them from the hair by doing like a dragonfly sort of pattern on them, like with the blue. And then I, I started doing the shirt. Uh, the shirt is probably the thing I dislike the most about this drawing. Uh, I made the mistake of making the shadows the same dark blue as the shadow on the trim. And as a result, the shirt w looked way too light, so I had to keep darkening it for the whole time I was working on this. Uh, it's kind of a miracle that the marker ink didn't bleed through the paper into the shirt with how often I went over it. Oh, my, my voice is very raspy right now. I don't even know why I was doing this. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um... Yeah, so, uh, so, like, I tried following a prompt list for October, and that didn't really work out, but, like, I want to try doing something similar for November. Uh, I was looking at a, like, November, which is where you draw something different for every, like, there's a different hue for every day, and you have to draw something based on that hue. I would not be doing it every single day, just because I do not have the time for that, but I am thinking, like, every three to four days, uh, which I tried back in high school, and I remember it being fun. I've also had some people ask me for a Meet the Artist post, which I think might be a good idea. Uh, just so people who don't know me in real life and like um, can get to know me a bit better. And I really like, like, I used to really like when my favorite artists made Meet the Artist posts. Back when the trend was more popular, so it should be fun. Um, okay, so it looks like I'm adding highlights now with the uh, Uniball Signo white gel pen. Which is, I think that's my favorite white gel pen to use like I, I have like it's the one I've had the least problems with the only issue I have with it sometimes is that the ink if I put it on like on the marker like right after the like I put the marker down then the the white ink sometimes it absorbs a bit of it so like instead of it being white it's like slightly tinted which I don't like as much so now I'm adding um slight like additions or like um, touches to the marker with my uh, Derwent pencil crayons. Um, so I'm adding right now. I'm darkening some of the lines that I like. I originally did in the red with a uh, dark brown, and um, I did this. I did this because like I, I didn't. They weren't dark enough. Like you couldn't really see like the, her eyelashes or like some of the lines on the baskets or the wings. So I'm I'm going over it with colored pencil, which I really like this technique as well. I'm gonna keep doing that. Sorry about the unfocused camera there. <laughs> For the rest of the drawing, like what basically keeps happening is I um, I continue adding more details and lines with colored pencils and a white gel pen. Um, I dark I darken ended up darkening the, the shirt even more than this, which I kind of wish I'd left it like this, but I also don't mind it when it's fully dark. Uh, my one issue with it is that I ended up like making it a little patchy by when I darkened it like I didn't see like it it's it ends up being patchy or than I want it to be and that's slightly upsetting like I think I was trying to get like a lighting effect like there was like like her shirt was lighter there but that doesn't work <laughs> really well with everything else um and I, I like doing the lines on the basket that was really therapeutic um so I'm probably going to have this uh, draw this in your style of running for a while because uh, right now the Instagram algorithm is blocking hashtag use in the US because of the election and um, uh, while I'm not in the US uh, a large chunk of my followers are so the deadline right now is December 14th or like after that if the hashtags don't come back by then I'm sure I'm sure they will but if they don't
Uh, here are some more finishing touches with the white gel pen on her, like, her bandana and the basket and her hair with the colored pencil. I really like the white touches I did on her wings. It's kind of scruffy, but I really like it. So, here is the finished drawing. Um, if you like it, please feel free to like and comment on this video and um, let me know what you think. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I would really appreciate it. I am trying to keep a, some form of a uploading schedule. Um, I thought it would be Sundays at 12 p.m., but I've already missed that once. Hopefully I'll be, I'll be able to stick to it. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, and I'll see you again next week.